Hello, my name is Prime, and welcome back to this episode of ATS Showcases. And today we are here in St. George, Utah, and we're heading down to Kingman, Arizona. We haven't been down in this area of the map for a long time, so I figured let's do another delivery down here. And I thought let's do a bit more of a fleet oriented delivery today. So we're driving the day cab configuration of the Freightliner Cascadia, and we're just hauling some, I believe it's some pallets here in this white box trailer. And we're driving for public, something kind of interesting. So if you want to get this skin, it's available on the Steam Workshop, and I'll have the links for that, along with the engine and transmission compilation mod that I'm using today for the engine sounds of this truck. Those links will be down in the description below. So let's go ahead and get this Freightliner started up and get on the road. Good old DD-16 engine sounds, if you ask me. Let's go ahead and hop into the inside and get rolling. Hopefully everyone's doing well, and hopefully this video finds you well. I'm doing a lot better. For those who happened to watch the latest Prime News I did on the more ETS-2 side of things, um, you may have noticed that my voice was, well, definitely not energetic and kind of more on the rough side. I have been very sick. Uh, I had been sick for a number of days, and so that's why there was no... Oh, did I just ride the curb there? Didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Uh, this is a fleet truck after all, so uh, I guess we don't have to... I'm going the wrong way, too. Good uh, good start here, Prime. Good start. I'm just swinging out to get around the corner. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> anyways, I was not feeling well for a number of days, and to be honest, I'm still kind of getting my energy back. But overall, I'm doing a lot better, and uh, that's why there wasn't... Oh, that's... Where am I going? As I was saying, that's why there is no Wednesday upload because I was sick during that period. And as I was kind of going off of as well, I am still recovering. That's probably why I, well, to be honest, the navigation issues, it's not something that uh, I can blame on sickness, but I am still recovering and getting my energy back. So I'm going to do my best with this video and hope and well, let's see how it goes. But I wanted to do a video for you guys. And plus, I wanted to, well, get back into ATS and doing some more simulation games like that. So let's talk a little bit more then about the ATS. ATS world. No, we got to pull in for a inspection here. Hopefully the way station is good to us this time. And uh, well, we've got Oklahoma and Kansas on the horizon. And recently, SU Software did publish a blog post on the Kansas DLC, uh, just kind of talking about, well, a little bit behind the kind of behind the scenes of the DLC and the team behind it, which is very, very neat. I didn't do a prime news on it because, well, I was sick. Um, but you can check it out if you'd like to. Uh, the blog post is one of the newest ones on there, and I did do a community post, so if you want the exact link to it, just go to the community section on the channel, and you'll be able to find it there. Um, but no, it is. it was really actually neat. It was a good read, because it kind of gave the perspective of the developers of the Kansas DLC, or at least a handful of them, and uh, some of their favorite parts and some of the things that will be coming. There were some new screenshots, as far as I could tell, uh, and some different assets and stuff like that that they're designing. Overall, it is a lovely, lovely DLC, um, similar to the other ones that are coming around the SES software realm of games. Uh, but no, it is just really cool to have a couple new DLCs uh, on the horizon. Obviously, Oklahoma is the main one. Uh, we're actually going to try and get by this guy here. Uh, got a decently powerful engine in this Freightliner today, and I don't believe it's a ton of weight. Uh, I didn't actually pay attention, to be honest, in the way station, <laughs> so I don't want to actually know how much it is. Uh, but no, not a ton of weight with us today, so we can uh, accelerate and move around quite nicely. Uh, but no, great to have some DLCs on Horizon, and really that blog post that SU Software put it on Kansas was more of a kind of let's get going here on the more regular developmental blog post updates and that's kind of that's kind of the stuff that that blog post was going over obviously oklahoma though it seems to be the one coming first and we've had a lot more on it uh than we have kansas and uh, overall both dlcs are just going to be really nice to have get, getting into the midwest is always a good thing in my opinion and uh, the other thing is 1.47 has come along quite well as well. There's been quite a few updates, uh, kind of a lot of more performance tweaks by the looks of it, and uh, some things changing in settings. Like, obviously, the bumps, I am noticing the bumps even more now uh, than I have uh, in past episodes, even without changing the slider uh, that is in ATS. So things have been kind of updating on that front. So hopefully everyone is enjoying the open beta if you happen to be a part of it. Uh, I certainly am. At least the times that I can actually drive within it and I'm not sick. Another challenge for me today will be commentary. If you happen to see some little jump cuts in the video, 
That is probably because I am uh, either having a bit of a cough or uh, I've messed something up really bad and just kind of a bit of a tongue, a tongue twister there. And uh, I'm going to apologize for anything like that little bit of inconsistency there. It's not the way I normally like to do it. Uh, but when you've got a pretty tired brain, let's just put it that way, and the one that's got a lot on its mind right now was of, was because of other things. Um, yeah, we're just going to say that. <laughs> it's the way it is, and uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. I must say a huge thank you to all the support, even in the midst of me being here and there with a consistency. Um, March was an amazing month for the channel. A ton of new people joined, and uh, it's great to see how the Prime Timer community is growing, and there's certainly a lot more to come in the future. I always keep saying it, and I think some of you may be thinking, well, when is he actually going to deliver? Don't worry. Very, very soon. Uh, there are some final things kind of going into play here, and then everything I think is really going to start kicking off uh, within months' time. So keep an eye out here on the channel for all that really exciting stuff. Uh, Prime Simulation is on an upward trend. I always say it, but uh, it's just the way it is. I enjoy what I do no matter what. Really, the numbers are a, kind of a secondary thing. Uh, but unfortunately, it's the way it is on platforms like this with social media. Numbers unfortunately do dictate quite a few things in, in terms of being able to kind of expand and uh, have different opportunities. But honestly, I'm just happy to do what I'm doing uh, right now and just kind of trying to evolve as much as I can within that. Whatever opportunities come, I will certainly uh, do my best to uh, kind of take the most of them. And uh, hopefully things turn out, well, quite well. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I decided to come back to this kind of more southern section of the ATS map. Really haven't done a lot, well, in all honesty, anywhere in Utah, Arizona, Nevada for quite some time. Been really kind of focusing on the newer areas of the uh, ATS map, and I guess other than northern California, because once... I guess I should say, once we get then the California rework kind of coming in, the phase three, whenever that ends up coming out for ATS, uh, it will be kind of nice to have that as well. And uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a nice addition, I will say that. But right now, these kind of areas, I don't generally do a ton of deliveries in, as you can tell if you've been around the channel for a while. But it's just the way it is. It is honestly just the way it is. And I've actually got to get over here. Should have managed my lanes a little bit better. But okay, it's all good. Light traffic, l luckily. And I'm actually navigating this section fine. So got the blunders right out of the way at the beginning. Oh, roundabouts. They never fail. They never fail, indeed. And to top it off, we've got a big old screen freeze that I'll probably just cut right out of the video because, um, yeah, I don't think that's mod or actually beta issues. Uh, my computer's been doing some updates recently. A big shock there. And, uh... I don't know why. Sometimes it's just very temperamental with the updates, especially when I'm recording, and it's probably just resource allocation in all honesty. And depending on the update, it prioritizes, and then it just, well, kind of bricks my recording in all honesty. I, I mean, it's just the way it is. I kind of push my equipment pretty hard in terms of recording capability uh, right now and trying to get the balance between quality and uh, just, well, performance ultimately. It's kind of the risk I take in that, because whenever I do have an update, for example, and some of my other resources are allocated to other things, um, you can have some different hiccups. And although that particular hiccup that I cut out wasn't necessarily the worst, uh, it took actually quite a few seconds to kind of revolve itself. And then when it came back, uh, I was actually further down the road. Luckily, straight stretch, uh, but everything kind of just froze, but the audio still went, uh, which was kind of strange don't believe it's anything beta uh, kind of wise or at least mod wise because uh, I'm running some pretty basic stuff and I haven't had those issues for quite some time um, so I've been lucky that way but saying that I'm recording this video actually at a different time of day and uh, kind of a time of day I used to do a long time ago and uh, that's generally when stuff happens updates wise so um, that's probably the issue and uh, well we're alive. Hopefully we won't have too many more cuts because editing prime is going to have a field day on this video and I'm going to be fully transparent. I have no idea when you guys are going to watch this video. Um, it could be on the weekend. It could be just after. I have no idea. It's going to depend um, how well editing prime feels and how busy he is. <laughs> 
and uh, what he has to do um, because that will di dictate when this video gets put out unfortunately the one man show can only do so much especially when he's recovering from not feeling well at all and uh, yeah that good stuff I had a pretty bad fever and uh, took a lot out and for any of you that's actually had a bad fever you'll know that it takes a bit of time afterwards to get your energy back especially uh, when it happens uh, and it affects multiple nights rest really does take your energy out and uh, takes a bit to come back from it once again I'm starting to feel pretty or a lot better but I'm still getting there especially on the commentary side Oh man, that Prime News, I'm telling you, that one on ET ETS-2 was a pain to put together. I tried to make it, well, not look like I had to cut so much uh, in, in, in throughout it, but I think you could tell by this video, my brain's still trying to uh, trying to catch up here. And uh, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. You know, I kind of forgot actually how, I don't want to say bland, but kind of just more basic this area of the map is uh, it's amazing even though that this area was you know more it, it's more on the old side now and in, in terms of the ATS map but it's come a long way because at the time this was a very good kind of quality uh, compared to even like California and it still does look pretty good but it's just it seems a very in many ways quite a bit of it just seems well land for what could also be in it now i know what you'll say is like well this area is just very rocky and kind of just or desert like there's not a ton uh, to kind of go along with it but i mean saying that you can uh, look at the detail that SCS software has been able to put in the texas dlc uh in similar areas um it's just the way it is mainly it's a road the kind of textures on the road like as SCS software has really started to kind of diversify sections of road and it really kind of varied up a little bit. This has some decent texture to it, but still, it's not the same at all. Main reason why I don't generally do too many deliveries in the area, not that they're bad areas, but once they get reworked, then 100% I'll be here all the time. But I guess it's ne then a never ending cycle of, you know, even more quality and this and that. And it'll be interesting to see whenever the revised game engine for ATS and ETS2 that, um, SA software is currently working on it'll be interesting to know how that affects the performance overall um, and the different quality improvements for the future how much does it open it up that's the question because um, right now obviously it's no surprise that SA, that SA software is very much kind of limited um, to the performance with their quality based on the engine right now um, many of you will know we got to do another way station how lovely um, many of you will know that while well, there's performance issues with anti-aliasing and stuff like that, um, so there are quality limitations just because of the age of the engine. Um, but once those get, well, fixed, that really opens up then quality-wise, and if, you know, the engine can handle um, more data, but yet keep higher performance, then that really it kind of opens up the quality uh, for future map expansions and then it's just a never-ending kind of revolving door of well the revamped areas and having uh, being lower quality compared to the newer stuff and it's until the entire map is done uh, or at least for the US then well it's kind of just going to be a never-ending story and that's kind of the crazy thing because SU software has had or has said sorry that their goal is not to just have it as the U.S. They do call it American Truck Simulator for a reason, not USA Truck Simulator. So they do mean kind of the Americas, or at least North America. Uh, it'd be interesting if you could, if they could expand. I mean, this would be years down the line at this rate, but down into South America as well. Uh, but I don't, I don't know how that, how that would work. I guess you'd have to take like ferries <laughs> like go through central america or take ferries from different ports and but i don't know how that would work because that doesn't really happen i don't think a lot i don't know it's kind of hard to say but uh, it would be interesting to know and actually we're gonna get over here uh, because we gotta make a left hand turn uh, up here so we can dodge some traffic looks like it's a bit of a heavier day here around the kingman area 
come up behind a truck here that we were behind not too long ago. Faraday Energy. <laughs> Interesting. There's been some new AI vehicles added as well. I think one of the last videos I actually noticed a Tesla. There may actually be one back in the uh, AI set back there. Um, but no, there, there's some new AI that's been continually added. Some different trucks and trailer combos and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of nice to have those added in there as well. It's always nice to have some different AI kind of around the world and see them, well, do what they do best. Uh, just be AI. <laughs> With their... It's weird. It is sometimes weird and freaky how realistic these AI vehicles can be in terms of vehicle behavior. Um, I don't know how they can encapsulate real drivers so well in a video game sometimes. It's just very funny. Very funny indeed. They actually did pretty well to get out of the way there. Creep up a little bit behind the Subaru by the looks of it. Looks like, yeah, it's one of the imprisoners or something like that. Is it me or that the light cycles have been more realistic now? Or is that something that they're working on? It feels like the light cycles of the... Or are, are more realistic in how the different dedicated lanes work. And also the timing. It feels like the timing's been expanded in many senses. Um, or, or in many places. So it makes it a little bit easier to actually get through lights. And the cycles just have been expanded. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you've noticed that or if anyone has been able to figure it out. Maybe there's videos on it. I don't know. There probably is in all honesty. But let me know what you think. I think it'd be kind of... Let's see if your detective this <laughs> can uh, figure that one out. That would be great to know. It does feel like it, but what am I to say? Uh, I could be just running a little behind, to be honest, on uh, on some news and the kind of the performance of the game. I'm not always that observant with that kind of stuff. Uh, some people can manage to find every little hidden change in uh, in every update that SE software would like to kind of throw in. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I I really can't figure out some of them on my own. Uh, so kudos to those who do. Kudos to those who do. So I don't know why we didn't just go straight through Kingman itself, why we had to go onto the highway and come here. I guess that's what happens when you're GPS, <laughs> GPS kind of bound here. I guess I could have, I, I looked on, I mean, the GPS has kind of the roads around. I saw that it just went straight and then the left. I could have just continued through the intersection. Probably would have been about the same time. Um, just because of the time waiting for lights, but... Oh well, we're here now. That's all that matters. Hopefully the light doesn't go too long. So I'd like to be able to kind of wrap this up for everyone. To balance between getting the longer and shorter deliveries. I don't want to go too short and I also don't want to go too long. Because the long ones definitely can get boring. I don't blame anyone on that one. Um, and I also tend to struggle a lot. I actually have to be, I think, on the left hand side so I went to the wrong lane so we'll just have to uh, do a little bit of AI bullying here I think on once the light goes green um, but you yeah, know it's one of those things it's a tough balance I'd like to do long episodes but I also don't because it depends on how much I've got to talk about and that's generally what I try to do other than today because I just wanted to take a delivery and this was one of the first ones and that's what we're doing so then the video has been the way it is <laughs> love it or hate it it's the way it is, and uh, hopefully it hasn't been too bad for those who are watching all the way through. I do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's a new Tundra. I think that was in one of the last updates uh, the Tundras came in. Maybe some different variations this time, though. Kind of neat overall. So, Walbert <laughs> Warehouse. I always forgot to forget about this. Walbert Warehouse across from a big Walbert kind of store. I mean, to be honest, kind of smart. Have their, have a big distribution warehouse right across the road. Um, I think we've got to go around the back here. To deliver. I can't remember actually what we're hauling. I think we're hauling just pallets or something like that. So I guess the warehouse needs some extra pallets or we're uh, picking up... We already have pallets in the trailer. We're just going to maybe go off of that. And we're uh, picking up even more here at the warehouse, which would kind of make sense, actually. Well, they got lots on the ground over here, so maybe... They've got some inside as well. 
go ahead and reverse the trailer in here. Nice short wheelbase on the truck, so hopefully uh, I can park this thing. Not too bad today. It's a nice reverse spot as well. It's a nice open lot. No hidden features that can really annoy you. Not bad at all, if you ask me. Pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take it indeed. Thank you guys so much for watching. What an episode. Hopefully it wasn't too unbearable. Um, I guess we'll find out when I edit it, and maybe I'll try and make it less cringeworthy if it is very bad. I appreciate everyone who's been sticking around the channel, and hopefully the next few episodes can be a lot better in terms of, well, everything. <laughs> I've got some cool things though planned. This has been a little bit more of a, let's just do something different, but kind of also just get something out for you guys in some sense, but I don't like the force stuff, hence why I didn't do stuff when I was really sick, because that would have been pretty bad, but you have your ups and downs, and unfortunately today may have been one of those kind of more downward sections, but you never know. Maybe this could be one that you really enjoyed, and hopefully you have enjoyed it indeed. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.